You are watching Ubuntu Boot Camp Part 4. In this episode, we are going to be doing some pre-install preparation. So stick around. The learning begins right after I roll the intro. Okay, let's begin. Here are some things you will might want to do um, when you are going to install Ubuntu alongside Windows. Now, if you've uh, listened to the last episode where we had the Zoo Crew episode, a lot of good suggestions were made, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a few demonstrations here. First, let's have a look at our uh, direct at our uh, hard drive structure, and you can do this by going into Control Panel and then selecting Administrative Tools. And under Administrative Tools, go into Computer Management, and then select Disk Management. Now, as you can see on my computer here, I only have one partition that has uh, 80 gigs. Now, this is a perfect partition table to use if you are going to install Ubuntu alongside Windows. Some of you may have a second parti partition on disk zero, and that may be a recovery partition. That's okay to leave that alone if you see this. However, if you do see four partitions are used up, Google is your friend because what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to back up that recovery partition and just by typing this into the search box these are the results you get you have lots of options here that will teach you how to recover or back up your recovery partition additionally some computers may have a tool that already comes installed that will allow you to make a DVD set of your recovery partition. This way you can safely remove that partition, group it together to make a larger C drive that you can install alongside Ubuntu. Now, or uh, al so that you can install Ubuntu alongside Windows. Now, since this show's focus is mainly on Ubuntu, I am not going to be covering that here because I don't have a way to actually simulate this in a virtual environment. But everything you need to know is here on Google. All right, next, let's go ahead and move along. Another thing you will want to do is you will want to defragment your hard drive. I cannot stress this enough. It's important to defragment. This will make the process of partitioning your drive uh, and installing Ubuntu alongside a lot easier. So go into your system tools and select Disk Defragmenter. And then go ahead and select Defragment. Now, depending on which operating your system you're using, you may not see this exact disk defragmenter. The one that ships with Vista and Windows 7 looks a little bit different. But you will need to uh, make sure that uh, you allow it to complete and then run it a second time. And as you can see, disk defragmentation is done. I'm going to go ahead and press Close, and then I'm going to press Defragment Again, I want to make sure that all of those files are compacted and together so that it's, see, and that's done. All right, very good. We're going to go ahead and close this. And another suggestion that was made is back up your files. So we're going to go into all programs here and then go into accessories. System Tools, Microsoft has this nice little backup utility, okay, and then uh, you can choose to always start in wizard mode here, and then you can select to backup files and settings or restore them at a later time if you wish. It's always a good idea to do this, and you can back up your files to a uh, DVD or a flash drive or external hard drive. What I usually like to do is I like to choose, let me choose what to back up. Okay, and then just press next, and then you have a number of options here. You can select specific folders, maybe in Drive C, maybe you want to uh, save uh, documents and settings, you know, you might want to um, maybe back up uh, your program files that you have installed. 
And then there are other options. You can even save the system state or the state that the system is in at this time. You can also do that when you are satisfied with that. Simply press next. Okay, and then choose a place to save your backup. Now, at this point, what it will do is it'll make a backup file. I'll just choose the desktop and then once I'm, you know, once I have that backup file, then I can at a later time just go ahead and move that to a backup drive, a uh, USB drive, or um, I could even split it up into little pieces and then uh, burn that on to DVD. So this is a great utility that you can use and it comes with Windows, so you'll definitely want to use that. All right, now that we have all of that out of the way, in my next episode, we're going to actually install Ubuntu on our computer alongside Windows. Mm -hmm.